Hey, you on. Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman, thecombatsystem.com. I just did part one on dealing with low kicks, alternative methods of dealing with below the waist kicks, especially for street self-defense, groin kicks, knee kicks, uh, low round kicks. But even if you do sport fighting, you might want to check it out because you could definitely surprise people with some of that stuff. Now, dealing with above the waist kicks. Not that it's going to happen too often on the street, but you never know. The guy might have did karate or taekwondo growing up. Um, you know, he might throw a round kick to the body or a front kick to the body. It's fairly common. But who knows, maybe you deal with a guy who can throw side kicks or high kicks. It could happen. Um, now, most important, especially when dealing with kicks above the belt, is realize the guy's on one foot. That is not the best thing in a real altercation. Because, and you got to make the guy pay. For trying to kick you, you got to make him pay. His on one foot, enter. Don't stay there and play a point kick fighting match with the guy. Uh, make him pay for how dare he try to pull off something cool and make you look bad by round kicking you in the head and putting you to sleep on a YouTube video. Okay? So, uh, make him pay for that. So anyway, let's talk about right uh, uh, body kicks first. If he kicks towards my body, I can always just go with it. Everyone's like, oh shit, it's gonna hurt. Then it hurts. Guess what, if you tense up and have body tension, kick me. <sighs> and it's still there about four seconds later. As opposed to this, poof, and I just move. Or as opposed to, oh, I just move all the way to here. Nothing said in a fight, I'm not allowed to walk in a circle. Okay, sing I, or what was that, that uh, walking. Uh, anyway. If I exhale and just do natural movements, good things can happen. So even if I'm late picking up a kick, I thought I was in a boxing match, in a street fight, and all of a sudden the guy kicks at me. Even if I just instinctively, look what happens to my arm. Now never try to catch round kicks. I talk about that in all my MMA videos. Don't try to catch them because it might question mark Brazilian kick you in the head. But if you see even instinctively, my arms kind of come in circles. So if I hook, if I get hit and I fold around, instead of being one strong unit, if I fold around it, good things will happen. So if he kicks me, good things will happen. Oh my God, that's good in a street fight, right? Good things will happen if I just huff and let my arms do their kind of natural, instinctive thing. Again, so I catch it. And I can do whatever, if I know martial art techniques from there, awesome. But if I just instinctually fall on the guy, it's pretty awesome too. Okay? So, um, let's go one on the other side. So, so, even if I was not prepared for it and someone kicked at me, okay? Doesn't, see, I'm not using any effort. Okay? Now he's not really fighting me, but I'm not really using a lot of effort. I'm just kind of, oh shit, and I fall on the guy. I exhale, I breathe. I'm not scared. If I was in a prepared non computational stance, hey man, stay away from me, stay away from me, stay away from me. Oh God, oh my God, the guy kicked at me. Oh my God, bad guy. Okay, then I'm away. Okay, so uh, just kind of exhale. I could do this as well. I could roll with it and then I could get it back to him. So kick, kick slow, man. I can load it, I can absorb and return. Tai Chi, Pak Wa, Gung Fu. Okay? I can absorb and hyper accelerate them back. I can absorb with my body and, and accelerate it back. I can absorb here. Absorb in my belly. Not that I want it because I might get kicked in the head. But sometimes you might get caught out of position. So if I absorb, okay? If I absorb, Good things can happen after that, whatever my follow-up may be, okay? I absorb with my leg. I went up and boom, I absorb. I need it, that's better, but I can always absorb. What did I do? I don't know, but I just kind of blah and fall on them. I absorb it and my body takes over. As long as I breathe, my back might be a tiny sore tomorrow, but as long as I breathe and exhale, it's not going to be that bad. So this is the most important concept. Let's do some left kicks. Kick. 
Kijk. Kijk, kijk. A lot of options. Oh my god, my hands were up, I'm getting hungry. Whoa, and then I defend. So, I'm boxing, punching me, punching me, and then kick, boom, and then send it back. Okay? Boom! Boom. Now we're in a fight. Okay, good things can happen. Whatever I follow up with. Okay? Um, let's talk about. Body kicks now, mostly front kick on the street, is going to be this is Sparta. Someone's going to go Aah! and try and punt you. Okay, they're either going to go for your going or they're going to try to punt your chest, most likely in a street fight. So, number one, if I'm really not prepared yet, I'm just relaxed or I'm talking the guy down and he tries to kick me. And this happened once in the street, I said in the other video. Um, I think he kicked on my groin. I think I intercepted because I think I had a bruiser blow my knee. But whether it's a growing or a bug, you can always intercept up the center line. So try and kick me right in the chest here with the front kick. Whoa, look at that. I shelved his foot. Okay, kick again. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, it kind of hurts him too if I really meet. But whether he's kicking my chest, I can lean back and bring this knee up. Okay, go. Go. Oh, where's that? Oh, 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 really? Okay. So. Whether I get the balls or the taint or the butt crack, I think that was taint. Is my accuracy good? Uh, it's not a comfortable feeling for him. So if I knee up the center line, kick release slow. If I, yeah, extend, shove your hip forward. Here. So I'm here. I just, I just ride back a little bit. Whoop, bing, and then I kick. Up, kick. Up, kick, front kick. Okay? So that's something really easy I can do. Boom. Okay? Or I can kick to the support leg, maybe. I like this one, but and then I can collapse down on that leg. I gotta be careful with the partner doing this kind of coming down on knee stuff, twisting leg stuff. If I fall on his ankle, like stuff could get broken. So you gotta be prepared. But if I'm in a fight and he front kicks at me, that's good in a street fight. What? We're in a weird grappling position. Okay, that's pretty good for ground and pound. Um, so, uh, same thing for a side kick. Can you throw a decent side kick? I can intercept with my knee. Same thing. I could just block it. Uh, when I was young, when I was like 12 years old in a Taekwondo tournament, or maybe nine, I kept blocking so hard. Whenever the guy side kicked at me, I would bring my knee up, and I would knee him under the leg. And the kid ended up crying. And I think I got DQ'd because I kept purposely. He was. He punched me in the nose, so I got mad. So every time he kicked at me after that, because you're not supposed to punch and take one over the face, uh, I would knee really hard against his sidekick. So I was doing destructive stuff even when I was a young kid. That's Wolfman style. So even when he kicked, I would boom, I would knee underneath it, and I started to bruise up this little kid's calf, and then he finally gave up. He got all mad. And, uh, anyway, so here's my little story. So if he sidekicks to the chest, I could bring up and then collapse down. I could. Boom, boom, take that sport knee out. Okay, okay I'm, not, I'm not going too hard because uh, this is pretty dangerous stuff. But uh, can, you, can you kick with your right side kick? Whoops, yep, there you go, kick in the chest. Boom. Okay, that's all I got to do to deal with that on the street. That's much more efficient than playing point fighting with a guy. I don't want to just spar with a guy on the street. I want to take him out. What if there's multiple opponents? So this is how you can deal with body kicks. Now, let's talk about high round kicks. Not that you'll probably see it on the street too often, but we have seen it if you watch enough street fighting footage. So, especially like in Russia and stuff, people just go boom. So, um, I can do different things. I can, uh, come. I can frame and just let it go over. <laughs> Monkey steals peach. Okay. Maybe a little oil check, I'm not sure. Um, there's different things I can do against a high kick. I can elbow roll like we do in a lot of stuff. So if I'm here and it kicks up, I can, let me kick my head. Come on, boom, I can bump it over with that elbow. I can count, combine that. I can go underneath, but I pick it up really. Boom, the steel peaches, I like that one. Even on the ground, I like that. In another video, I show that. Um, there's, 
Uh, I can cut kick very easy. Uh, can you throw some left high kicks? Boom. Block. Boom. I can jam. Boom. I can block and come in. I can let my body instinctively defend. I can do different stuff. Boom. I can kick out that support knee, okay? okay? So if I really went down with my body weight and thrusted, you could see that kind of mess them up. Especially if you had friction with boots or shoes on gravel. Um, okay. Boom. Okay. See, okay? All right. That's kind of sucks, but, um, so anyway, you can do a lot of different stuff. Yeah, yeah maybe, maybe not. But you can see, I could just, I just want to show that, like, even if I fell on the guy, because he's on one foot, that I could, like, come again. I could, like, this is, you know, I could ankle pick and come here. that. Okay, I'm getting creative now. Nothing says I can't move. If you pick up the reed early, you know, a little we bore on there maybe, or 52, a little head butting action. So, you know, if he goes up, I can come, I can come down. Maybe. I wouldn't necessarily risk that, but maybe there's someone else behind me hitting here and now I can fall into You know, know that you can always kind of Fall in into a guy. Okay, cut kick them. Kick them. Okay, so you can do a lot of things if you're not scared to move. Now obviously blocking and covering and jamming, these are important skills to have. I'm showing you some more advanced stuff, freedom of movement stuff, thought provoking stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Check out part one dealing with the low, uh, low line kicks and be careful in training. Please subscribe. Thanks. Okay guys.